Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anastasia. I am a inconsistent YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, oops. Hi. It has been a long time since I've been on YouTube, since I've made a video. Um, my life has been very, very hectic. Um, I am in a new spot. This is my office. I did put a Soji screen to kind of like hide the mess back there. Um, where have I been? I had a baby. My son is now going to be two months in the next two weeks. So he's basically like a month and a half old. Um, so I haven't been able to really film a video because I've just been sick. I've been in my bed. I've just been unmotivated. Um, all things that come with pregnancy. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be more consistent um, with YouTube. I really do enjoy filming videos and doing tutorials and like waist training videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I get comments and messages all the time from um, you guys asking me when am I returning, when am I going to make a new uh, waist training video, this and that and the other. Um, so I'm going to try my best. I am not on a schedule whatsoever because I'd rather just go with the flow. So today I'm going to be doing a um, a video on new products that I just bought from Sephora that just came today and the new spring savings event is approaching and that starts on April 9th so for rogue members um, for insider members it starts on the 14th through the 19th so of April so of course I am filming this video because I want to show y'all y'all my favorites and money or things that you should spend your money on for this event so if you are I'll go through all that in the video so if you are interested in seeing my favorite products and products that I believe you should spend your money on for this sale then just keep on watching all right so got my hair up so that way my hair is out of my face for the makeup and all that kind of stuff so if you are a Sephora member um, you should have gotten this little pamphlet here this little pamphlet shows you the little discounts and coupons and all that kind of stuff that you can use um, for when the sale starts. So it says here, if you are a Rogue or Rouge member, um, you get 20% off and the sale will start for you um, April 9th through April 19th. I am a Rouge member, so I'll be able to shop on the 9th. And then VIB members get 15% off and that will be through April 13th through April 19th. And then insiders get 10% off, so that's everybody else I believe, and you get uh, between 415 which is April 15th and April 19th to shop um, and then they send me a like a little coupon card to use and then it says you can get free shipping oh never mind this is for Rouge because I'm a Rouge member never mind um, yeah so I guess if you get the pamphlet it will show you based off of the tier level you are in what you can get and like what sales and stuff they have for you so I received this box in the mail today of items that I have purchased. Um, I guess this is also kind of a mini review because some of this stuff I've never used. Um, so I got the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Powder. Now if you've been on my channel and you're a subscriber, also 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. It is free to subscribe to my channel. If you do not like it, you can definitely just unsubscribe. It's very simple. Um, it's just like no risk. I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can share me with your friends. I would love that. Um, and yeah, a little blurb. So I've had this powder before. I've used it, but I've got it in a new shade. I've got it in banana. So I wanted to try and see what that was like. Um, I did YOLO and get a big container. I do have my normal powder here and it's in the shade Butter. But I don't know if you can see, like I'm running out. So I ended up just picking up a new one. Um, and then I got this one, so it's the banana. And then I got, uh, keep in mind, I took the container off of this because I did open this package. I got the new Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Palette. It's like a, one of her little mini, uh, quads things so this is what it looks like it is beautiful right up my alley like completely up my alley so I'm super excited to try that and then I got the Fenty Beauty these are new the easy drop blurring skin tint this is how big it is now not gonna lie on the like Sephora app I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger now 
shoot me, I do not pay attention to sizes. So like, I don't pay attention to like the number size of how big it is or not like that. So that would have been an indicator of how big it is, but like, this is how big it is. So like, just for reference, this is my hand size and this is how big this is. So you can kind of see that this fits directly in my palm. So then putting it beside a foundation, size difference here. So, it does say that this blurring skin tint shake well before use um, on the back of the box. It's light to medium coverage for all skin tones. Blends and blurs to instant protect perfection. Light as air. So I guess we'll find out. Am I supposed to? Use, well, it says light to medium coverage, so I guess I'm supposed to use this as a foundation. So I got it to try. So I guess we'll see what that's like. I got the, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. I got this. It's a lemonade smoothing scrub. Mm. Whew. It does smell like lemonade. I love lemonade. So basically this is just like a scrub that you would use when your face is wet. Probably when you take off your makeup after you've cleansed and all that kind of stuff and did all that fun jazzy stuff. I would scrub with this and then be done. So I'm gonna try this as well. And then I got just my normal NARS um, concealer. I've used this concealer before. This shade I've never used. My normal shade of their concealer is custard. But, because I am extra, I like my concealer to be super light. Because underneath my eyes, I like them to be bright. Um, you can't really see. Well, you can. I can see. I have some discoloration under my eyes. And I like to be... I want to look like I'm awake, you know what I mean? So that's why I like to use a light concealer. The concealer that I have been using every single day was uh, this concealer by Dose of Colors. So they're kind of... No, this one's a lot lighter. So this is what I've been using in the shade 18 Medium Tan. And this is the shade I should be using. And it just wasn't doing it for me because it wasn't light enough. So now I got a lighter concealer to try. And I already know this formula. I like it. And then that looks like that's it. I did get this random sample. It's a Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Um, it's not really a sample to me to try because I've used this before. So this is nothing new to me. Um, so, but the thing is like extremely tiny. Look how small that is. It is a free sample, so there's that. But look how small and teeny tiny, that's so cute. So yeah, that is all I got in today's order. So I am going to really quick set up everything that I need to set up for the demo. So that way we can get this rolling. All right, I am back. I've already done my eyebrows um, and I've already moisturized and primed. For moisturizer I used, um, don't mind it, it's dirty, but this is what I used. I cannot pronounce it to save my life. I'm pretty sure you can find this at Sephora. Um, I use it, I've gotten it from BoxyCharm, and this is something that I use all, like pretty much every single day. You can see that I've gone through it and I started rolling it up because I go through this every single day. For primer that I highly, highly recommend, it is a bit on the pricier side. Um, it's by YSL, and it is a blurring primer. This is what it's called, if you can even read that. This is what it looks like. It is very, very nice. It's very hefty feeling, and it does blur the skin. I really, really, really enjoy having this as my primer, and I use it pretty much every day. Um, so now, since I've already done my eyebrows, for eyebrows, I've used the normal Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ebony. This is my go-to brow product all the time. And then to carve my brows, I use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer in the shade... 30NN. This is what it looks like. This is a repurchase. I love it so much. Um, highly recommend to put on your list um, as these brand of concealers. The Stay Naked. Love them. Um, if you want to carve your brows. Or you can even use any concealer, but I love those. So now we're going to try this blurring Easy Drops, the tint by um, Fenty. Fenty Beauty. So I'm just using a Juno and Co. sponge, and I'm gonna try it on a sponge and see what happens. I'm only putting a little, well, I'm gonna put a decent amount. I just wanna see kind of what, what goes on. I'm gonna zoom in a little and kind of see here. So I'm just dotting it. 
It may look weird because I have some powder it looks like picked up from the sponge. Huh. I love how it was an exact match of my skin. So for reference, this is shade 11 in Fenty, the Fenty Beauty Skin um, foundation, whatever. It's not called skin. But in their Pro Filter foundations, I am in the shade 290 and 300 for reference. So that's the shade you would use would be 11. I'm using a pretty good amount because I personally don't fully like light coverage. I like medium to full coverage foundations. But it is covering pretty good. And I do like how my skin really does look blurred. I'm using a sponge. I wouldn't recommend a brush. I feel like a sponge would really fully give you that blended out look than a brush would. But I'm taking it down the neck and the chin. So far, look, it looks really, really good. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, I really like this. Now, I'm, I'm definitely going to need some more concealer under my eyes because you can see, you can see the bags under my eyes. But this is advertised as a light to medium coverage and I'm sure if I continue to build it that it would give me the coverage, at least the medium coverage that I'm looking for. But I will not do that. I'll just put on concealer. So now I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2.3 Madeline. Um, that is not my shade at all, but like I said earlier, I like lighter colors. So you see how light that is? I just made sure that to stay in the same, um, skin zone undertone as my skin tone. So because I am neutral, I'm going to stick with neutral. I'm not going to go to cool. I'm not going to go to peachy, rosy. I'm not going to do any of that craziness because then it's going to really look crazy. So I stuck with neutral. Stick with your same color zone um, if you're going to go any lighter than your normal skin tone. Just for brightening effects. So I'm literally only going to use that concealer here for brightening purposes. Just because so I can feel awake and I look awake, you know? If you're wondering where am I looking, my mirror, my big impression vanity mirror is right here. And my camera is diagonal. It's kind of an awkward place to put it but it's the only place I can put it okay so now and I also do bring it into the nose just ever so slightly just so my nose looks a little bit more skinny because I'm giving you that illusion versus I have shadows on the top of my nose sorry my child okay so now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty powder in that banana shade the new one I've never tried this. So, I know a lot of people don't necessarily bake anymore. Me, personally, I enjoy baking. <laughs> I really do enjoy it. I like the look that it gives me. Because everyone knows that I'm extra with my makeup. So now, to set that face makeup, because I don't like to not set it, I'm going to use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Blur Powder. Mine looks crazy. Sorry. Um, and I believe that Sephora is doing a 30% off when that sale kicks on. They're going to do a 30% off their own line, which this is included in their line since it's from Sephora. Um, so I like how this blurs the skin as well. And also while I set the skin. So I'm just putting it all over my skin, but avoiding the places that I've done here. So now... For contour, what I have been using pretty much every day has been the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. The only reason why I'm using this um, is because I'm using the Hoola by Benefit. See, it's, it's been well loved. So you don't necessarily have to get the entire Cheek Leaders palette for that shade in particular. You can just get the Hoola on its own. On its own. Um, and I know a lot of people where this is like a staple favorite, but it's just something that I enjoy using. So now I'm just carving my cheeks with it. On both sides. 100% would recommend the cheek leaders. And then for like a cream blush, I would recommend the Huda Tantor palette or cream 
uh, bronzers. I use mine in the shade medium. Um, when I do use cream, I haven't used cream in a long time. Pretty much every day, I've been using uh, Hoola. It's been my everyday go-to. So now, I'm going to take a smaller, more narrow brush, and I'm going to go down the sides of my nose with it. Kind of give the illusion of a tinier nose. A tinier, more straight nose. Which is why earlier I did the more powder on on my nose to kind of give the illusion that my under eyes start on my nose and go out. But I'm going to put more to carve it. And then I put shade, like some shadow on the bottom. It just gives the illusion of a more narrow nose. Right now it looks crazy. But just trust the process. I should get that as merch. If y'all want to see that as merch, let me know. So then I'm going to carve the nose. See? And then as that sits, it'll help. All right, and then I guess I'm going to cut this with banana powder. This is a huge YOLO. I probably should have used um, the butter powder by Fenty Beauty, that shade, for carving my uh, my cheeks. Because, yes, I still do that. I need a little bit more powder. Okay, just like that. So now, this is where we're at. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to start with my eyes. So we're gonna use that palette that I had just gotten, which was the Huda Chocolate Brown Palette. Brand new, so I can't really give you my opinion on it until after I've used it. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna use my staple brushes that I always use. I probably should clean them off a little bit so that way there's no residue from an old palette on it just to make sure oh shoot I'm so clumsy I'm literally the clumsiest person you can ever meet pretty sure a few of you out there relate to that um because I'm feeling lazy and don't feel like picking that up <laughs> I'm just gonna clean off another brush to use in replace of that one okay so I'm gonna go in with the shade it doesn't actually break down the shades. So we're just gonna go in with this middle shade here. This is gonna be my transition shade. And I'm just gonna put that on my crease. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Well, it doesn't go any further. I'm just gonna go in. I hate that there's like a hair. There you go. Just in my crease. Always gotta have a transition shade. Back and forth motions. And then same thing on the other side. Back and forth wiper motions. Okay, so I'm good enough with that. And now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go into that shape here. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corners and blend it going in again with the windshield wiper motions I really like how these shades blend out I feel like they blend out really well so now I'm gonna take it more in and blend in the inner corner as well then I'm gonna go back in with that other brush don't clean it off and just Go in with the inner corner. Remember, trust the process. Just trust the process. That's all you can do. Do the same thing on the other side. Windshield wiper motions as usual. If you want more color, just keep packing it on if you wish. Just to darken it up a little bit. Bring it in and then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade in the corner 
and this is only going to go on the outer corner. It looks more like a plum than a brown. I thought it was brown, like a more brown, but on the skin it kind of gives me like purple undertones. Hmm. It's cute, but it's not fully what I expected. Actually, it could give you a chocolatey vibe to it. So then, I'm going to go in with the other brush we used for that other color. The brush we used for this color without dipping into the pan. And I'm going to fluff this out. The outer corner out. Like so. Same thing on the other side. Just a little. Because that side needed more blending than this one. Then, I'm going to go in with a flat brush. Wipe it off a little. Yeah, so I'm going to go in with a flat brush. And what do I want to use? We're going to go with this shade. And then I'm going to... Hmm. This is probably going to require my fingers. Yeah. Or... Kind of... I mean, I kind of like how it looks. I'm not getting the full experience, though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wet my brush or something to get the color I'm looking for. Or, like, the pigmentation I'm looking for. Yeah. So now I'm going to try... Oh, that's pretty. It would zoom in. That's pretty. I'm going to try that. Let's see if that'll save the day. Hmm. I bet you somebody in the comments is going to tell me I'm using it wrong. But, whatever. It's not that serious. Like I say all the time, people, it's just makeup. But I do want a little bit more pigmentation on the inner corners because I don't like how you can't really see it. So I'm going to try again with a brush in the inner corners. Yeah, it looks... I like that. I like that. So now for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner. I like this eyeliner. I also do like the One Size Beauty um, eyeliner by Patrick Star. But for today's video, I will go in with this one. So I recommend both of them if you're wanting to know which eyeliner you should go for. I say both because both of them are nice. And especially if you're getting a coupon code, why not both? So now I'm just going to go in. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. Even though y'all see me do this plenty of times. Okay, and there's that for one eye, and then the other. There you go. I love how pigmented they are. So now for mascara, I have been switching between two or three. So I do like the Gucci mascara. I like this, but I also like the Giorgio Armani mascara. So I think for today's video, I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani. In case you're curious on what mascara you should spend your money on. Um, if you had to pick between one or the other, I would say the Giorgio Armani one um, over the Gucci one. But I do like both. I would say I like the Giorgio Armani one better though. I'm just coating my lashes. 
Yeah, I like this one better. I like the applicator better than the Gucci applicator. This applicator is a bit thicker. The Gucci one is thinner than this. And that's kind of awkward. I feel like I can't get my lashes the way I need to. And now... Y'all can't really see that. But I did kind of mess up my... Uh, my eyeshadow with a little bit of mascara. So now... I'm gonna go ahead and brush off all of my bake. I'm gonna, ow, back it up a little bit. Can you hear my son crying? That's kinda cute. I'm just dusting off the excess. I do like how they made my face look. So now I'm feeling kinda dull. So from blush, I highly, highly recommend the Patrick Ta it looks really disgusting because I use this all the time. Um, blushes. I own three of them, and the one that I use the most is She's Passionate, and you can tell I've already hit pan. With blush, I've really been into, like, the e-girl, kawaii style um, blush, how I put it on. So I'm very heavy with blush. I put it on my nose. put it on my cheeks. I'm very hefty with it. I like the pink blush. Like, it makes it look like I'm flushed. So I am pretty heavy with the blush, but I really enjoy that look. See? So then, I'm gonna go in under my eyes, because now my eyes are looking unbalanced. Like, it looks like my I'm too top-heavy. So now I'm gonna go in with the br first brush we used, with the first shade we used, which is in the middle. And I'm gonna swipe that underneath my eyes. Just to, like, put some color underneath. And then I'm gonna take that dark shade we used in the corner, and I'm gonna put that in the very outer corner on my bottom lash line. On the very outer corner. Just like that. Yep, that looks super cute. And now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to spray my face down with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Night, Stay All Day. I absolutely adore this setting spray. I think you should definitely splurge on this one. Woo! It definitely blends all my makeup together. It makes me look less cakey. If you ever feel like you look cakey, just get yourself with some spray for... <laughs> Highlight, I'm using the Jouer. Jewer, Jouer, in the shade Molten Glow, and it looks like this. So now I'm going to take a brush. For those who are always curious as, as to how my highlight looks so popping in my pictures, I take for my nose to give them the next illusion that my nose is tiny. I put a little bit right here, and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose, and it gives the appearance of a tinier nose. And then I'm gonna take another brush to then put it on my cheeks. The trick is to spray your face first while your face is wet, and then put your highlight on, because then your highlight's like. So now for, oh shoot, that scared the hell out of me. I'm so clumsy. So now for, Lips. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what I want to use that you can find in Sephora. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get back on that one. So I'm going to put on my lashes and I'm going to find a lip color that's gonna go with this that I like. That's from Sephora, and we'll be back. All right, and we are back. So, this is the final look. I'm zoomed in still so that way y'all can see. For lipstick, I ended up going with, um, I do have lip liner underneath. It is uh, Chestnut in the, by MAC, not as for it. But, for lipstick, I ended up using the Huda Beauty Bullet Lipsticks. I used to be obsessed with these. So I used the shade Last Night and Staycation. So they're like nudie colors. So I used this main one all over and I used this one for like a pop of light because I'm really into like neutral lips you know what I mean um so that is today's look 
I'm gonna zoom out now. Ooh. Let me know if y'all want a hair update. Cause y'all remember my video where I cut my hair? Like I'm gonna stand up so y'all can see just how long my hair is now. <laughs> Like, there is no color applied to my hair. My hair is completely virgin all the way up to the ends where that red has now turned, like, a weird coppery, blonde, orange, like, weirdness. But you see how long my hair is now after I grew it out? I've been growing it out for quite some time um, since the video when I cut it. But yeah, so my lashes are in the style Manifest by Doll Eye Beauty, my brand. This is the packaging, look how beautiful. So it's in the shade or style manifest and it's kind of like a half lash kind of ordeal. Super pretty, super nice and it doesn't overpower the look at all and it complements it very, very well. Um, if you use the code CLEAR on my website, shop.dollybeauty.com, you can get 35% off lashes only in preparation for my new collection coming out shortly. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found some new products that you might purchase um, from Sephora, the Sephora sale coming up. Um, and yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Just like I always do, whatever, morning, night, noon, whenever I upload this. Bye.